So we are ending our trip to New York. We're in the airport waiting to board, um, having a quick salad and some Irish coffee. Um, me and Mahogany both picked up something over the weekend, so I'm not for sure what that was, but um, we're just going to assume that it's going to get better and the week will just go just fine. So this video, what I want to talk about is networking at conferences and why it's so important, especially as a small business owner. So why is networking important for small business owners such as myself? So a lot of my clients actually knew me from when I was actually working for Health Plan. And of course we had conferences and things that we go to. And because I'm in such a niche um, industry, I am able to narrow down where where I should be, what conferences I should attend. So AMCP is all about managed care pharmacy, and so that's where I get exposure to health plans um, that are my current clients as well as prospective clients. And so one of the reasons why whenever you're trying to figure out which conferences you need to go to as a small business owner, you need to know who is your audience. Where are your prospective clients going? Where are they attending? And so uh, not next week, but the week after that, I'm going to AMCP Nexus, that's in Vegas. And then I'm leaving there and I'm going to the California Association of Health Plans in Palm Desert, California. And of course, it's health plans. So that would make sense as to why I'm going because health plans is my target audience. Even to further that even more, is it Medicare or is it commercial? And so my expertise with the main bread and butter for my business right now is around Medicare. However, we do have a commercial product offering, so any health plan we will be able to service. So that's another reason why I'm going to the California Health Plan Association. One of my main things there too is somebody I've been trying to get in front of is going to be there. So it is a prospect um, in the PBM space. And so they're going to be there. I've been trying to get up with her for quite some time now. And so she's going to be there. So I am also I'm going to attend. Now, one of the things that I will give you as a tip is if you're not sponsoring an event, look on the website and see who is sponsoring because then you may be able to see a vendor, um, like in this case, the PBM that's going to be there. And then you can reach out and see if the person that you're actually trying to reach is also going to be there. And the next piece, maybe you are not a small business owner, but you're an employee and you're wondering if attending conferences is going to be important for you also. And that answer is yes. So as an employee, you also want to network within your industry because there's job opportunities there. I know several people have heard that it's not always what you know, but who you know. And that's why attending conferences and doing effective networking is important because you never know who you may be working with or for one day. And those connections can be made at certain conferences and networking events. Now how do I stay connected with people that I actually meet at these events? Um, one of the things that I like to do is to exchange and connect on LinkedIn versus business cards. Um, whenever I have business cards, I usually just take them home and throw them in a drawer and I never do anything with them. And I feel that people do the same thing with my business card, although my business card is a little different because it has my picture on it. So oftentimes when I have business cards and I can remember the company, but I can't really remember the person. Uh, so if you are going to use business cards, Try thinking about putting your picture on it so people can actually remember who they were talking to and then be able to put a face with the business card. Um, and that's just more around branding and being able to make a deeper connection. However, I always try and connect with people on LinkedIn and maybe even send them a quick note um, so that you know where you met them at. Um, like, thank you. Uh, for connecting with me at AMCP Nexus or it was nice to meet you at the Northeast Day of Education something like that so if you ever have to go back and say well where do I know this person from you've already got it in the message that you sent to them that'll just show up in your DM part. So another question I always get is how do you actually go up and meet somebody that you don't know at these events so I'm pretty extroverted at times I enjoy talking to new people and meeting new people and usually it's in the line at the bar so I met a particular person at this event that we kind of connected with and stayed um, sitting next to each other throughout the entire event and just learning more about one another. And we met in the line at the bar, okay? So usually when you're standing in line at the bar, you just strike up casual conversation with somebody. Thank you. <laughs> And so the casual conversation is, where are you from? Where are you coming in from? Um, what part of the industry do you work in? When you're in a conference where it's niche down, like AMCP with managed care, you know they can only come from certain places. So they may be with the PBM, they may be with the drug manufacturers of pharma, or they may be with a health plan. And then that kind of narrows it down so you can ask, you know, what industry are you from? Uh, what company are you representing? And then that just kind of starts the conversation from there. And then I usually ask people, oh, well, you know, where did you come in from? Did you drive? in did you fly in and then because this is not my affiliate chapter I actually had on an AMCP Carolina affiliates button 
And so that was a conversation starter. People was like, well, what are you doing um, here at the Northeast affiliate if you're with the Carolinas affiliate? So sometimes I'll just put on different things um, on my clothes, like buttons and pins that are actually conversation starters. But the best way to network and get to know somebody that you don't know is just to go up to them and just start a conversation. Another thing is around um, high tops. Whenever you got round top tables and people are just sitting and snacking on food or having conversations, uh, just come in on a spot if there's a spot available and say, hey, is, can I stand here or can I, uh, is it anybody here? And if they say no, you just squeeze in, introduce yourself, and then the conversation just naturally flows. So let's just wrap it up. Uh, why is it important for small business owners or employees to actually go to networking and conference events? And it's just basically just to meet new people, to make new connections. If people do not know who you are and what you do, then they cannot call upon you if there is something that they need that you actually have a solution for. Uh, so making those connections, being known, uh, being relevant, those are the reasons why you want to go and you want to network. The second piece around how to stay connected, I always connect with people on LinkedIn because it is a professional site. And then one of the tips that I gave you was just to send them a message or a note so that you can remember where you actually met them from. And then starting up conversations with people that you don't know, you just go in and introduce yourself, um, ask what industry they're with, where do they drive in from, and then the conversation naturally flows from there. And always remember, depending on what industry you're in, if you can niche down in it um, and go to conferences that are more niche down, like I do with managed care, versus if I go to the American Pharmacy Association APHA conferences, those pharmacists could be from anywhere. Um, but in AMCP, I know that they are relevant to the managed care market and speak my language. So hopefully you found this helpful and we're getting ready to finish up lunch and then we're going to get on the plane and fly back home.